Hello people welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya Today I am going to teach about synovial joints and types and types of it Now synovial joints so it forms a majority of joints in the body they are between the they are between the bones they are between the bones they are between the bones and they form most mobile mobile joints in the body so it consisting of a fibrous joint capsule fibrous joint capsule which helps to hold the articular bones together now types of synovial joints three types uniaxial joints biaxial joints and multiaxial joints uniaxial in this the movement takes place in one plane in one plane and one axis in this they are hinge joints and pivot joints biaxial in this they are two planes two axis right angle to each other multiaxial multiaxial means in their movements takes place in two or more axis more than that more than that and movements in three or more planes okay now in uniaxial hinge joints in first one in hinge joint first one in hinge joint here the movement takes place around a horizontal axis horizontal axis say in elbow joint plane this is a axis horizontal axis in elbow joint first one hinge joint see in hinge joint here the movement takes place in a horizontal plane in elbow joint and here pivot joint here the movement takes place around a vertical in a vertical axis which permits movements like atlanto axial joint and the superior radio ulnar joint in this 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 is in elbow joint and this is in atlanto axial and the radio ulnar superior upper part of the here, upper part of the radio ulnar joint okay next one biaxial biaxial joint in this movement occurs in two planes and the two and two two planes and two axes a right angle to each other so in this they are saddle joint and the condylite joint saddle joint here the articular surface is concave concave in one direction and convex the concave this is a convex this is a concave this is a convex okay here see the diagram here the articular surface of the con uh, is concave in one direction concave in one direction and convex in one direction in other with the articular surface of the opposite opposing bone is exactly the opposite now for sandal joint for example in in this one trapezoid in carpo metacarpal joint at the base of the base of the thumb carpo metacarpal joint at the base of the thumb here there will be two two planes and the two axes like concave convex type next one condylite this one condylite condylite joint in a knee joint in this there will there is an oval condylite uh, which fits in a see which fits in a elliptical uh, socket or cavity radio carpal joint or knee joint see in knee in knee joint like, like this it will be you know this this only they have drawn here this is a knee joint or radio carpal joint next one multiaxial joint here the movement takes place in two or two or more more axis of rotation and movements in two movements takes place in three or more planes now in this there are two types ball and socket joint and gliding joint ball and socket joint see in this ball and socket joint head Uh, head of one fits into the concave concave socket of the other bone of all the joints in the body they provide the widest and freest range of motion movement in almost any direction or plane for example in ball and socket for example in hip joint and shoulder joint so in next etc and gliding joint gliding joint uh, last one is a gliding joint they are numerous and gliding movements occurs in all planes in all planes uh, joint for example joint in carpal and tarsal carpal this here carpal bones 
here gliding in all movements and tarsal means lower limb tarsal bone this one and all the joints between the articular process of the vertebra also example so i hope you like it thank you for watching this video